Hey, -o. welcome on back to Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm Jim John Milton, and I'm riding again. I'm still, I'm still on this playthrough. It, uh, it's gonna be real interesting to see ch just how long this, this single playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2 took me. But uh, yeah, got, got a new horse, grew out my beard and my hair. Uh, obviously I wanted to get to a level 10 beard, but it's so much harder to do with John, especially considering the Van Horn glitch just does not work at all. And, uh, once you get to this point of the game. But, um, I did just let a horse kick me in the, in, in the face, so that way I could get my hat off. As you can see, my hat is right here. Uh, I, th I, think, it was, I think it was that horse that kicked me in the face. Morgan. Uh, but yeah, now I'm gonna, uh, do some, like, story missions and stuff, so, yeah, that, that is basically what's gonna be it, I don't think I'm gonna talk much, I might, I might not, but, uh, at least for this part, no, no talking, only... Damn thing. Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, <laughs> Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest. You'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Well, lucky man. And you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey, hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens, go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the morning, wagon sir. up there? Ah, I believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton, how fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kinda... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You are gonna milk the cows? Sure. Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It's about time someone stood up to them fellers. So, where are you from anyway, partner? Around, you know, up north, mostly. Been these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything, the ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. Nothing like that. No. Just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things. 
Like most men. <laughs> I feel a whole heap having to rage in like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Yeah, most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, just sit down, I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. Got a pail full. Hey, Pa. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your pa yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all gotta earn That's our enough, keep. Jim. How about you and the boy, uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. How old are you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got... I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's gotta be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just... try and take some pride in this work. Hard as it may be. Boy. Bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Hold on. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. Moving up. Think your mother's hiding somewhere, laughing at us? That stinks. This is a dog's work. Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want? 
Same as I've been? Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, what do you know? Me too. Put some coffee on. Let's go, girl. I said, Abe, yes, sir. where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to foal, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Since you showed up. 
runaway horse has been the sum of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all. Huh? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. So, uh, is that what the boss was doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. Hey, you Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Easy. Need a hand with that horse? No. Whoa. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes, hey, yes, I do. Now. Pretty big one. <laughs> oh, That's hey, Jeremiah. Easy now. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in foal. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. Let me ride him a bit first. Get some of the spunk out of him. Okay. I'll wait in the corral. <sighs> All right. Come on. Where's that big mean horse? Some energy? Show me this. He's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there. <laughs> Go nice and slow. Stay calm. Me? A horse. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh. Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask? Are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... But... Just worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. 
think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. You, Mr. Milton? I thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thanks, Jim. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. My God, where does my husband find men like you? Bill, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh. You're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah. We... we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm... I'm busy. Uh, too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on, please. For me. For him. How's he been? kind of withdrawn quiet you know sure take him out please come on boy let's go for a walk come on Around to the left. What do you see? A pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding? Aside from home. I don't know, but maybe that stream. Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on, you know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs.
There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... Why don't we speed it up again? Okay. Come on. See, you can do it. How about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa. Slow, Jack. Slow. Easy there. Bring up the pace again. All right. You know, this ain't so bad, sir. Good. Amazing what the right horse and a little confidence can do. Look. Better than before. Keep at it. Okay. Let's go across to the stream. Yes, sir. I mean... I don't know if I've heard the big news about the Red Dead 1 port, but is it a port? Is it not a remaster? I, I would assume they, they would yep. put it in the Red Dead 2 Once engine. Back, they already got half of it made. Race? I guess. Alright. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! Wow, they're, they're really not going to put it on uh, PC. That's a shame. Are you still back there? August 17th. Wait, what? 10 days? That, that's kind of crazy. Whoa. That does a surprise drop announcement. definitely won this one I mean you, you know right. here's the thing you, you say charging $50 for an old game I would pay $50 again for just the ability to play Red Dead Redemption again I mean I could go set up my Xbox 360 theoretically but I don't want to do that I beat you I beat you I well beat ridden son <sighs> I beat you like I said you're riding. It's gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, <laughs> keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. <laughs> I gotta say, it's it's so much better when you let Jack win, because of course, what if if he loses, he's all sad and angry about it. So I'm gonna Happy check out this trailer. Thank you. 
I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. Cleaning at the doctor's wow. office. <laughs> Bye. It really is Bye. disappointing. <laughs> that that is time. rather disappointing. Okay, Pa. See you later. Insane that they're putting the game on Nintendo Switch. <laughs> What's my beard doing? Okay. I guess I'll keep the big beard for now. But ah oh, man, that 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 is real disappointing. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm not too, uh, too sure about the future of Rockstar, like, I mean, it, like, like, really, it's just, it's, it's on GTA 6 to come out in probably, like, fucking five years, and see if that game's any good. I don't know, because, like, like, kind of the, the, the sad thing about uh, rock stars, they, uh, well, I, I don't know if it's sad necessarily, but Dan Hauser, the, like, I don't know if he, he's the director as well, but he's, like, the main writer on most of the, uh, m most of Rockstar's games, and, uh, like, I don't know, I, I think he's, like, a phenomenal writer, like, almost everything I've played that's been written by him is, has amazing writing, you know? Like, Bully is a great game, really fucking funny. Then there's, uh, you know, the original Red Dead is written re really well. GTA 5, uh, haven't played any of the other GTAs, so can't say for sure on them, but I know they're pretty good games. And then, uh, Red Dead 2 is, like, w one of the best stories ever, you know? There's definitely some criticisms I have for it. There's definitely some things that you could change to make a bit better, but I don't know. And, and, and now that Rockstar no longer has him, it's like, I, I, I can't be too sure about the writing anymore, you know? I, I don't know if it's going to be as good. I don't know if you're going to see a noticeable dip when, like, GTA 6 comes out. If GTA 6 ever comes out, you know? Who, who knows? Maybe they're just going to come out with a GTA 5 update that costs $70 so you can have uh, more animals wandering around and, like... You, you can buy even more expensive microtransactions and actually not not even microtransactions macro transactions at that point because like you you spend like a hundred dollars in GTA online and you still won't even have half the fucking bullshit you can buy oh so yeah I don't know I, I I'm I'll probably pick up that Red Dead port because I, I don't know I'm a sucker I, I don't mind a port like honestly uh, uh, like the version of Bully I played I never played a Bully Scholarship Edition but uh, I, I, I on my PlayStation 4 I played the PS2 port of Bully and like I'll, I'll be honest I, I don't mind it so much like that, like that to me that that's a bit nostalgic like I don't really mind that like that and like Psychonauts like oh man <laughs> whoops a daisy come on then but yeah I, I I I would love to see like remasters of old games like uh, the original Psychonauts done in the style of Psychonauts two would be so beautiful you know. Cause like, I, I don't know, Psychonauts 2 looks really great. I think it's really wonderful. And I was hoping that we would get that for Red Dead Redemption, but unfortunately not. 
I was, I, I, I'm gonna be honest. I was so stoked. I was like, ah, nice. You can customize John so much more. You can do, uh, like, you know, you, you probably eat some food, make him bigger, make him skinnier. You, you can have custom outfits. You, you, you know, decide what you want to do. Maybe you can have like, kind of, like new stuff they added in. But nope, it's just a regular old plain old port. So yeah, again, like, like I think GTA 6 is really Rockstar's, like, last chance. I know, the same with, like, a lot of big companies, like, uh, like, the, the Elder Scrolls 6 for Bethesda. What, wait, did Starfield come out? When, when's Starfield coming out? Because I'll, I'll be honest, I feel like that game might have came out and that I've heard nothing about it. Let's see. Apparently, Starfield is available for everyone to download this week. What's up with this? Oh, it's on Xbox Game Pass. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, the, the game came out. Oh, uh, the game's coming out September 1st. Okay. That, that's why I, I haven't heard much about it. Because it's not out. But yeah, like, I don't know, Starfield, uh, like, uh, that'll probably be, eh, it, it might perhaps be good somehow, some way, but, uh, I seriously doubt it. But, like, it, I don't know, it's, it's up to, like, the Elder Scrolls 6. Like, if the Elder Scrolls 6 is bad or disappointing, I think, like, people are gonna lose a lot of faith in these, uh, big corporations. Hopefully, ho hopefully people will stop just pre-ordering games because, oh, they made a game I liked before. Sure, surely they'll make a good game again. And it's like, it's not always the case, you know? Like, some studios take uh, CD Projekt Red. Like, I, I think they've made some fantastic games. I think Cyberpunk 2077 is a pretty good game. But it's unfortunately uh, kind of brought down by all the bugs, especially on consoles. Like, I, I, I'll be honest, I played uh, Cyberpunk on PC when it came out. Ran great. Honestly, r really fun little, little time I, I had in that. Please don't delay me any further. I'm just a homesteader looking for a patch. I know. Chase your tail. Fuck a sow. Yeah, some law you boys are. Oh, I love my job. <laughs> <laughs> I hate my job, and I'm gonna take that out on you, punk. Near me. Are they dead? No. Sir, I was alone in these parts and much in need of a friend. Thank you. You'll find the rest of the folks in these parts more welcome, and I hope. I won't let this encounter be a deterrent. I mean to settle somewhere here. Good luck. Oh. Man, that's really disappointing. I like I, I on the bright side, only like ten more days till the port comes out. Which like I feel like they should've they should have done that like a long time ago. Like I I don't know how it's taken them this long to go, oh hey, may, maybe we should uh do do a port of like uh, of the original Red Dead, because it, it it it's a fantastic game. All right, I uh, I still love the game. But ah uh, man, I, I I was I was really hoping they would remaster it and like you know might be a, a couple months or a while. But no, obviously they're still focusing only on uh, GTA 6. And again, maybe GTA 6 will be really good. Maybe it'll be one of the best games ever made. Or maybe it'll be a big fat disappointment. Just like most everything Rockstar does nowadays. But uh, only time will tell. And uh, seems like it's going to be a long time. Man, I, I, I'm sick of waiting around for things. 
You know, I, I was actually really excited to play Baldur Ga uh, Baldur's Gate 3. I don't know if you've heard anything about that game. But, like, uh, from what I've seen of the game and, like, uh, you know, uh, I've been trying to avoid, like, as many spoilers as possible. The, the game looks really fantastic. But I got I gotta wait a month because I'm uh, I'm a I'm a poor little console gamer, all right. I mean again I do have a PC, well I have a laptop, but yeah I don't much feel like playing games on that. It'd be a bit of a hassle to live stream. And plus I don't know just, just something about a controller I I I I like a controller in my hands and I mean I you can't you can do that on a PC but not always. There we go. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Well, uh, Baldur's Gate is like a CRPG, computer RPG. It's, uh... I don't know if it's isometric uh, in terms of gameplay, but... I assume it's like a okay, kind of RTS sort of deal. Real-time strategy, kind of, sort of. I, I don't know how to describe the gameplay exactly. But it's like a big RPG with, like, a ton of content. Just, like, a load of content. And, uh... Yeah, the PlayStation port is coming out in a month. And they haven't announced an Xbox One yet. Yeah. That, that game I think I'm going to play once it comes out. Spider-Man 2, whenever that comes out. Ooh, that, that's the game I'm really excited for. I, I am stoked for Spider-Man 2 to come out. Alright, anyway. Enough talking about games. Let's get back to actually playing one. Hey, Milton. Can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. Can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Now lift up the other side. You gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. And that's it. Good. Okay. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. down and 
Come on, son. Hurry. Hurry. Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give Easy, us a hand. Easy, bull. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make him mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Come on! Move! Let's talk. Temper on you. How am I gonna calm this thing down? You don't look like you're gonna wind down. <laughs> but I'll try. There, there. There, there. Ease up. It ain't so bad. Nice and easy now, boy. Whoa, there. Whoa, there. Easy, easy. All better? Okay. Now, come on, you hunk of Chuck. Oh, come on. This way. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Yeah. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How oh, fancy parents get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. Said he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> no! oh, come on, get him! Come on, get him! I'll oh, kick his head in, Bob! He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in the brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life, married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Tim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Now, dear, I, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Uh, I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> Yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Hmm. No, uh, no, I'm thank good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. What the hell was that? What are you, what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. No! Jim, you gotta do something! Two of them! By the stars! Get the cattle out of here! Rich man's body. You boys are over here. The cattle are off. And soon enough, their ranch will be ours. No. Who's this? New hand? Stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back. Uh, I sir. guess we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your 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 name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Let me in, it's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We I What are you doing? 
My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. I'll lead the way. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Yeah, yeah, right. Be better on foot. Okay, if you say so. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up to Pronghorn. I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough. Come have a word with me. You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. I'm here for our cattle and to teach some manners to all of You're gonna be sorry for what you done. You're gonna pay up. You ain't so talky now, are you? You know that woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's gotta make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. Long <laughs>
back. You did real well, Mr. Milton. This man can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah, uh, 